buried all the way to that tree over there. That's uh, 30 feet. Uh, we got 3,000 to go. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, come on, come on. You're almost done. That's a heck of a... Oh, this is the little white powder flying out of that. That was a good toe. And you need oh, those. You need those. You need those. <laughs> oh, come on. This is, uh, this is uh, PVS. You can't be swearing in PVS. <laughs> Okay, this is the progress so far we have been about this is the 60 foot mark so far with the water line we're about uh, five feet from the water level at this point and we're all the way back to the intake so being buried all the way from here back it's actually right here it exits the uh, land goes into all the stones that were put up to uh, uh, secure it and it's in here it's the into right over here And that would be moments before he croaked when the hammer hits him in the head. Down, down the hill, yeah. This is the 80 foot mark of the water line so far. And right here is going to be the, the little waterfall that we're making. Probably be about uh, two thirds of that pipe that's standing right there. That's where the water will be coming out. We have the main shadow off here. And this other key here is for the um, standpipe to uh, leave the air out of the line. And we'll head back. This is the trail we've done. And over here in the center of the screen, so you will see the uh, markers there. Get wet? It got a little dirty. We got the uh, water intake about 70 feet away from here. There's a uh, property marker um, down at the end, that's where the property starts. And it travels down 70 feet, right down to this uh, artificial waterfall with actually spring water. It's about uh, a 7 feet drop right to here, right to the creek. And over here we have our sink. 
not much water flowing, but it's there's a sink in the in the wilderness. This is our main cutoff and a waterfall. Seventy feet away from the intake, dropping down about seven feet. And the creek. I think we're about uh, 110 feet away. And this is uh, the water that will be flowing, trying to flow to the house. I think that should be enough water. Now we have our new helper make us run, help us run the water line from the top of the creek to the house. We're making a, a trail. Doing it backwards. I'm going on from the house to the top of the creek. And this is a gray help. Here's a contraption I made to try to unroll this six 500 foot two inch coils. They're pretty thick, they're 200 PSI. There's, uh, there's six and I believe that may not be quite enough. I might need uh, another one. The first one, the first one's loaded. Oh, here's the rest of the assembly. A couple of bolts on there and a C-clamp just to make sure. And it's the same thing on both sides. This is where we're tying in to the PVC pipe from 3 inch to 2 inch since uh, that was all I was able to get. And <clears throat> this area here, I had to raise it up a bit here in the, the shallowest area here is next to this tree here get a few points of reference here but this is the shallowest right here in this part I had to raise it because this area here down here was for about a hundred feet I have a picture about an eighth inch per foot which is not uh, what I wanted, but in order, or, or, or to get that, I was I had to raise this area here, which is a, a low area. I had to raise it up. So here you can see how close the pipe is to the ground. So we basically you only have about right there. We're gonna have about about two inches of dirt covering this section here 
around where this tree is, so we have to fill this here. And that shallow area, it's only for about about 20 feet at the most, and then it uh, starts increasing to um, much greater, all the way up to about a foot in depth. But uh, from the tree there, all the way to about here, it's about 20 feet away, it's a little shallow from here. It starts off, and, and it goes down to um, a depth around here. Depth around here is about to this mark of the boot, to the to the pipe, the beginning of the pipe. So st stand in the pipe. That's how deep it is in this whole area here. And this whole area is the area that is about an eighth inch per foot pitch down towards the uh, towards the house. And, oh, it's a little tricky walking over here and I'm beat. I was expecting to do all this work with with a pick and a shovel. Not digging it, the excavator did that. But at least filling it, making sure that it doesn't, doesn't uh, damage the pipe or shift it out of place because it's critical around here since the pitch is so low. All the larger rocks, I used to place it and hold it in place while I filled it, so they're not uh, like here. Now from here, the pitch increases quite a bit to a half inch to an inch and even more per foot. And this is uh, where that area ends, which is the two reference trees here. I wish I had a mile marker or a foot marker, but we don't. And there's another tree here as reference. It's also where this uh, other road, I was heading up that way and then realized that uh, I, was, uh, I didn't know it was that close to the, the tie-in point. And I realized I was too too high, so I changed it and lowered it. To be able to uh, to get the right the, the right angle, so now this is the first five hundred feet it is laid in place. Now this should be a lot easier to bury. I'll probably do it with the excavator since the pitch is not that critical. And yeah, this here. Uh, to the start. Loading water line on the tractor. And standing here on a ledge that drops down about 30 feet down below. We got the creek down there. You're going, it's got the little white button on the bottom. Huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Take your breath away? Woo! Not at all. Well, yeah, a little bit. It feels good. Ah. Now, that's a shower. <laughs> <laughs>